Well, a lot of people are concerned about how much hand sanitizer to use in healthcare settings. Uh, WHO guidelines recommend to use enough to keep your hands wet for 20 to 30 seconds, but obviously that will vary a lot depending on how big your hands are, how vigorously you rub, and also what formulation you use. We'd recommend trying to select a formula which is relatively high in ethanol, around about 80%, um, and ideally in a foam format because that will spread very quickly, it will dry quickly, and in the foam format it will prevent it dripping and, and, and falling on the floor, so you'll, you'll get the best out of it. Um, for most people, we find around about 1.5 ml is about the right amount to uh, hit the WHO guidelines when you use a formula of that type. And that's why we developed the Instant Foam Complete Optidose formulation. Every time you wash your hands with soap and water, a little bit of the skin's natural moisturising component is lost. Uh, and that's why it's really important to use a moisturising cream uh, regularly to replenish the skin uh, with humectants and emollients and conditioners and to help uh, feed the skin's natural uh, systems. Now, a lot of people would ask, well, what's the point if uh, I wash my hands again and uh, remove the skin cream? And it is true that some of the, the skin cream will be lost next time you wash your hands. Um, but it's still really important to top up uh, the skin with nutrients on a regular basis and uh, help prevent drying and help prevent the long-term effects of very frequent hand washing. A lot of people are concerned that sanitizers will dry their hands. Uh, all of our products are formulated with a moisturising agent that helps uh, enhance the water holding capacity of the upper layers of the skin uh, and prevents drying. Um, all of our products have been independently tested and that includes uh, Instant Foam Complete as well as Q-Tan Foam and shown to be non-drying even under very frequent usage scenarios often experienced by healthcare workers. Furthermore, our products have been tested by dermatologists and found to be skin hypoallergenic, uh, which means they're designed to be used for people with sensitive skin. Now we're often asked if uh, people should use hand sanitizer after washing uh, your hands with soap and water. I would say as a general rule, no. Um, if your hands are visibly soiled, um, then washing with soap and water will provide very adequate hygiene protection. Now, in a healthcare environment, there's lots of occasions where hand hygiene is indicated, but either soap and water isn't available, or uh, your hands aren't visibly soiled. Uh, and in those occasions, uh, that's where an alcohol hand sanitizer should be used. But if your hands are visibly soiled, dirty or greasy, then don't use an alcohol hand sanitizer, wash with soap and water instead. Alcohol-based hand sanitizers work through an instant germ kill effect and they don't have any residual effect. So it's really important to sanitize your hands at each of the key moments where the risk of transmission of germs is high. And that's defined for healthcare settings by WHO's My Five Moments of Hand Hygiene. Now it's really important to remember to sanitize your hands at each of the key moments and not to rely on any residual effect even if a product uh, claims that. It's not correct that any percentage of alcohol in a sanitizer will be effective. In fact, a minimum of 60% alcohol should be used. Our premium products for healthcare settings contain 80% ethanol, which has been proven to be most effective uh, for killing the broadest spectrum of germs while spreading and drying in the optimum time. We're often asked to explain the claims that we make that our products are proven to kill 99.999% of common bacteria and 99.99% of common viruses. Well, that refers to the percentage of bacteria or viruses that are killed or deactivated after using the product. 
So if there were a million bacteria on a surface uh, initially and only 10 were left after you used the product, then that product has killed 99.999% of the bacteria. Or to put it another way, if a product kills 99.999% of bacteria or viruses, then it will be 100 times more effective than a product that kills 99.9%. Well, all of our antimicrobial efficacy claims are based on the European norm testing standards that have been created to substantiate such claims. For example, uh, our products are bactericidal in accordance with EN 1500 and EN 13727, viricidal in accordance with EN 14476, and so on. A very common frustration is when the pump on hand sanitizers can become blocked or contaminated. But instead of using a fixed pump in the dispenser that can become blocked or contaminated over time, each one of our hand sanitizer cartridges has its own pump, which means there's very little risk that the pump can ever become blocked or contaminated, and it eliminates the risk of product spillage. It's important to remember that wearing gloves and skin disinfection with hand sanitizer are two separate things. While donning gloves can protect you from contamination with pathogens, the risk of transmission when doffing, either to yourself or others, remains. Always use gloves in accordance with your healthcare system guidelines, always dispose of them correctly, and always remember to sanitize your hands at each key moment of risk of transmission of pathogens. Gloves should never be worn across multiple moments of risk or between patients. A common concern is that using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer could compromise religious beliefs. Well, we've sought guidance on this matter from the Muslim Council of Britain. They don't regard synthetically produced alcohol as ritually impure, so using an alcohol-based hand sanitizer for skin disinfection is permitted. Additionally, we do provide an alcohol-free sanitizer, uh, so users can make their own choices. EU Eco Label is a voluntary certification label that promotes environmental excellence. This official EU mark promotes products that are designed to reduce environmental impact by reducing their impact on aquatic ecosystems, by meeting biodegradability requirements, and by minimizing waste by reducing packaging.